Oh, there we are. A very good morning to you, my heart is. Now then, we're just checking to see if we've got a better connection this morning. We popped up earlier, but it was very difficult. People couldn't hear and see me. Can you hear and see me now? I ask you. User, Clickster's joined us. Thank you very much, Clickster, for coming back and joining us. I do need to ask you, is that any better? So there you are. So do give me some feedback um, on how that's looking this morning. We've had uh, one or two technical challenges, and hopefully we've sorted out the time. 11 o'clock, never a dull moment. Come and join us. Kareem, thank you very much. Lovely to have you with us. And uh, if somebody could tell me how that's looking and how that's sounding, that would be appreciated. Kareem, can you see and hear everything that's on here? Scotty, how are you? It's perfect, my friend. Clingster, that's excellent. Thank you very much indeed. Hello, Scotty, you're looking sharp today. Ah, thank you very much. Lovely to be with you. And a very, very good morning to you. 11 o'clock, never a dull moment on here, I say. Big discussion this morning about marriage. Should brides be allowed to wear white second time around? Tell us what you think about that. Did you do? Good morning to you. Lovely to have you with us, Peter. And a very, very warm welcome to Scotty McClure. Never scroll and never troll. Always good to have you with us. We had to send a wee troll doing the swanee earlier. And that was the end of them. They were toast. How amazing is that? Uh, welcome, welcome, Spencer, Derek, Mason. Thanks for joining us this morning. And a very good morning to you. Dinky do, good morning to you, Scotty. I think they should be able to wear white second time around. Do you think so, Clinkster? The only thing I would say is white does signify purity. And is it purity if you've been round the block, if you get my meaning? Dylan, good morning. Lovely to have you with us. And a very, very warm welcome. Welcome to our talk show this morning. We've introduced the subject of weddings and we've introduced the subject of brides. Should they be allowed to wear white second time around? Hello, says Thomas von Bentheim. How lovely to have you with us. And welcome, 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 Thomas. Good chat, I say. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 that Scotty McClue is live. And we are live on TikTok just for you with TikTok's top talk show at 11 o'clock on a Thursday morning. Oh, no, I'm out of here. Oh, tutti frutti. Why are you out of here? My goodness me. I don't know if it should be allowed, says Arch. I heard brides. Yes, we always mention the bry on here for our South African viewers. Now, hang on. We troll here, guys. The troll is called Elliot Dudley. So there we go. Here he goes. Elliot, doing the swanny with you, you wee troll. Half wit. There we are. Gone. End of Elliot for trolling. Well, he knows the rules. It says on the front, no trolls. The Greenock Dinky Doo, Scottish TikToker. How lovely to have you with us and welcome. Scotty, the bride could have a bikini on. For all I care, love is love. Kareem, what a lovely fellow you are. Such a stout chap. Wonderful. We like all that. Hello, everybody. Good morning, Scotty. Good morning. Lovely to have you with us. And a very, very warm welcome. Scotty McClue, live on TikTok, just for you seeing Dinky Doo in the morning. We popped up earlier, but we had a little technical challenge. This is a lot better now. A lot healthier. I wish people would say we can't see you rather than just disappear, you know. But people's attention spans are so short because we're all used to watching 15 seconds long. I don't know how people get on with movies. Morning, good morning, good morning, says everybody. Who we got here? Morning, Scotty. Thanks for following Arch. Morning, Garlic. Morning, Scotty, for Big Fox. Yes, Scotty, did you do? Hi, Benj. Good morning, says Swan Levitt. Good morning, Swan. Lovely to have you with us. Morning, lad. How are you doing, says Cameron? We're fine, lad. How are you enjoying the weather, Scotty? Did you do a plinkster? The weather is outstandingly beautiful. We are loving every second of it. Tremendous. Mr. McClure, what's your favorite chocolate? Well, Kaizuku, I'm off the chocolate now, but I quite enjoy a wee after eight. The naughtiest thing I've ever done in my life is eating it at half past seven. What about that? Yay, Scotty. 
Uh, what's your one of your favourite movies? Well, The Imitation Game. We've just been talking about that recently. And the other night I watched for about the millionth time. No, maybe not quite. A bit of hyperbole there. Um, Where Eagles Dare. All the Alistair McLeans. Scotty, can you give me motivation to go to the shops? Is there anything you're actually needing? You know, have a think about that. Could you get by without going? Follow us, guys, as soon as you can. Thanks, Benj, and thanks for sharing the video. Very, very important. Très important. All right, Scotty, pal, free five, pal. Ken, pal, lovely to hear you. Where's Ken? Free five, Ken. Fantastic, Ken. God bless you. Jesus loves you. Thrixtable. You are 100% correct on that one. So there we are. Do you read? Don't know what you're talking about, Mr. Fogg. Fantastic. There we go. Hi, Scotty. Come and join us. Big discussion this morning. Should brides be allowed to wear white at a second wedding? Yes. Darkoddy, pal. Langton, pal. Can it well, pal? Fantastic. Brought part the world walking down the front in a day like today, Ken. Fantastic. Right, good stuff. On you all come, I uh, say. We have lots to cover here. Uh, Kirkcaldy used to do the linoleum, didn't it? Scotty, how are you enjoying the weather, my friend? I unfortunately got sunburned badly. Clingster, you must be careful. You must look after yourself. Very, very important. Evening, Duke of Dundee. And your badgie. How lovely to have you with us. And a big dinky do, I say. How are you, old Scotty lad? We're fine, Ben. Cracked pal, the Langton pal. Him of the mighty Wraith Rovers. Aye, there's I dancing in the streets of Wraith of the Rovers, wouldn't they? Fantastic. Hey, how are you doing, guys? Uh, so do you ken a boy that kens a boy that ken somebody that could maybe put a wee bit of work their way? That's what people always say in Kirkcaldy and the Langton. Fantastic. Hi, everybody. We love the Fifers on here. We're very big on the kingdom of Fife. There we are. Do you think if Scotland goes independent, the kingdom should be the place where the Queen goes in Scotland? Back to the kingdom of Fife. Hello, for South Africa. I don't think they'll find the culprit. No, I don't think so. Yes, indeed. Up the forest mechanics. We love the forest mechanics. Queen of the South will smash Wraith. Do you think so, sir? Would that not be a first? Oh, no, no, Johnny Munro. It's Jordy Munro. Oh, no, no, Jordy Munro. That's the one. Come and join us as soon as you possibly can. You're watching Scotty McClue. Hashtag Floatie, the first lord of the internet. This is very, very big stuff. TikTok's own chat show. And we are live. Make sure you support it. Follow us as soon as you come on, guys. Share all the videos. I Ken Pal, Ken Mattier. Uh, any tips on how not to skid in your car? Yes, what to do is to take somebody like yourself and uh, send them down the swanny for trolling. You'll never learn, will you? There we are. Bye-bye. There we are. Fantastic. Share the video. You'll get a big funeral. Oh, I think so, Melting, yes. Yes, unless there's another pandemic and it's down to just close family and friends. There we are. Imagine that'd be quite big as well. Howdy from North Carolina once again, good sir. Your friendly night in North Carolina. We love you. Dinky do. It must be very early in the morning. Do you know Scotty McClure's massive in the United States of America? Everybody loves the TikTok lives on there. Get sharing, guys. It's 10 years since Amy Winehouse passed away. It is, Angela. You're quite right. Bless her. We so. Why do people take drugs? I like this guy already. George, how lovely to have you with us in Dinky Doo. Uh, hello, how are you? I am remarkable for my age, and it's a joy having you with us. Big discussion this morning about should brides be allowed to wear white second time around the block? You know what I'm talking about? Fantastic. Do join us. Anna's joined us. Sorbet's joined us. Hi from Wales. This is Jude. Jude, lovely to, lovely to have you on here. Borada and Yakida. Do you think I should move to Scotland? I think everybody should move to Scotland, George. 
You see, the thing is, Scotland was depopulated through social injustice. It would be lovely to get it repopulated through social justice. What about that? Do you pay your TV license? Yes, I do. Uh, is that a custom at? This is my Scotty McLeod's bonnet, 29 years old, two weeks ago. There we are. Can I join you live? You can, big bong star. Uh, hello from the Isle of Mull. Hello, good morning to you. Oh, maha for from the Mullochs. Are you at the Glen Forsa? Are you in Tobermory? Are you on Calv? Are you uh, at uh, uh, Are you down at uh, Benesson? Are you in Salon? Are you in Loch Screeden? Are you in Loch Bui? Are you at Duart? Do tell us, are you at Craig Newer? Fantastic. I think that's enough mull places for now. Are you at Greben? Are you at Calgary? Are you at Dervig? I think we should be told. <coughs> Have you ever been to the Isle of Arran? Oh, not like the back of my hand. Goat Fell, Whiting Bay, Corrie, uh, Loch Ranza. Um, where else have we got Brodick, of course? Yes, indeed. Your cap doesn't look a day over 28 years old. Absolutely, Ange. Salam, uh, salam. Lovely to have you with us. I'm in Dervig. Ah, the Mull Little Theatre. We love Dervig. Love to Dervig this morning. And love to the Molochs. There we go. Uh, you have to pay to watch TV. Only to watch the BBC and the iPlayer. Yes, I don't think we have to pay to watch the other. But in actual fact, if you've got a television, the BBC still insist you pay a license. Now, I don't think that should be the case. You could choose to opt out. The accent's very heavy. I'm having a hard time to understand. Oh, me too. Me too. Scotty, would you consider donating your brain to medical research? Well, it certainly would be very good for people to find out why Scotty McClue is excessively clever, you know. <laughs> but not until I'm finished with it. Have a beautiful rest of your week. Hope it brings you the happiness you deserve. James, exactly the same to you. Right back at you, Lala. Fantastic stuff. Watching from the Philippines. We love you on the Philippines. I think that's ridiculous, paying for the BBC. We get it for free in America. Well, the BBC wanted to control the airwaves in a day when the government actually could call the tune. But I think people are getting thoroughly fed up paying out 150 quid, you know, that sort of thing, and uh, not feeling they're getting their money's worth. Hello from Antarctica. We love you in Antarctica. But you don't have to pay to see Scotty McClure on TikTok. So you're on a winner there. Scotty, may you leave your wit to me in your will. Fat spoon. That would be a privilege because my spirit will go on, you know. Yes, the heart does go on, as they say. Well, certainly until it stops. Come and join us as soon as you can. That would get leave you my wit, did you say? Fat spoon, PH. John McMullen, lovely to have you with us. Innes. Welcome, welcome, I say. You're all watching Scotty McClue. We're live on TikTok Live, big style. Guys, I want to get these figures up. It's free for the over 75. Yeah, but Angela, a lot of us aren't over 75. Do you know what I'm saying? Do you know what I'm saying to you? Are you Scottish? You have got it in one. Nothing gets past you, does it? I don't know. I can't, I can't do a thing. I bet if you were a ghost, Scotty, you'd be pranking everyone. Oh, George, what? Moi? Dinky-doo, baby, dinky-doo. Father's, Father's Mass. Lovely to have you with us, Father's Mass. Dinky-doo to you. Big Mark Dog here. Oi, oi. Oi, oi, Big Mark. Lovely to have you with us, dinky-doo. Follow Scotty McClure as soon as you come on, guys. We're very short in followers. Scotty, when was the last time you caught a macro, if you don't mind me asking? Uh, I can tell you exactly 49 years ago I caught a mackerel. We put some uh, bright-colored feathers out behind the yacht and uh, got our supper. 
<coughs> Fantastic. Follow us as soon as you come on, guys. We need a massive follow fest. You're, are you able to see the hat? Is it the right way around? Hang on. Is that? Oh, that's better. Scotty McClure. Dinky do. We had a wee technical trouble. We had to reset. Fantastic. God bless you, Scotty. Fantastic broadcaster, lad. Stephen, lovely to have you with us, lad, and thanks for joining us. Dinky do, and God bless you, I say. Tremendous. Right, let's get these numbers up. Can everybody tap their phone right now? Everybody go bananas. Tap, 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 de tap, tap, de tap, de tap. I want to try this and see if it works. Tell me if you're tapping. Tap, 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 de tap, tap, de tap, de tap, de tap. Keep going, guys. Tap, 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 de tap, tap, de tap, de tap. Every day it comes on, tap your phone. Tap, 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 de tap, tap, de tap, de tap. We're trying to see if it gets the numbers up. Tap, 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 de tap, tap, de tap, de tap, de tap, de tap. Never scroll and never troll. Tap, 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 de tap, tap, de tap, de tap. Come on, guys, keep tapping. Tap, 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 de tap, tap, de tap, de tap. More tapping, everybody, as crazy as you can. Tap, 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 de tap, tap, de tap, de tap. Yes, it's working. Keep tapping. Tap, 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 de tap, tap, de tap, de tap. Tap, 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 de tap, tap, de tap, de tap. Come on, let's try it. Keep going, everybody. Tap, 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 de tap, tap, de tap, de tap. Tap, 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 de tap, tap, de tap, de tap. Keep tapping, everyone. Tap, 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 de tap, tap, de tap, de tap. Tap, 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 de tap, tap, de tap, de tap. Keep tapping, everybody. Tap your phones right on the nose there. Tap, 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 de tap, tap, de tap, de tap. Tap, 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 de tap, tap, de tap, de tap. Yes, that has what I thank you. Right, let's get back and see what you've all been saying. <laughs> Fantastic. Where's the recording? I've got it here, Angela. Shout out, it's actually a button key melodion. Shout out, everybody. Dinky do, shout out to Brog. Dinky do, Brog, how's it going? Big Dave. Big Dave, Dinky do. Thank you for following, Birch. Thank you very much. Important. Is it more expensive to live in Scotland than the United States? I don't know, Adam. How much is it to live in the United States? A gallon of gas has gone up since Uncle Joe took over, hasn't it? Hi, my name's Sean from Connecticut in the USA. We love you in Connecticut. Dinky do, I say. Tap, 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 de tap, tap, de tap, de tap, says Fat Spoon. Is your dad around? No, my dad passed away uh, 25 years ago, 1996. Gorgeous guy. If so, what an example. Uh, seriously, you think this is quality content? Seriously, we don't think this is quality content. We know this is quality content. Seriously. Okay. Seriously, do you not? Seriously. My goodness me. Why are we tapping? Apparently, if we tap, it attracts attention to other viewers. Apart from being flow tie, what's your main ambition left for you shuffle off this mortal coil? to uh, raise the viewing figures for Scotty McClue live on TikTok. <coughs> Fantastic. Now, uh, there we go. This guy's got to go. Hang on. Uh, are we troll? Are we troll? Are we troll? Gone. Fantastic. Right. Excellent stuff. Now, who do we have here? Anyone down the Swanee? Well, we popped up earlier and yes, they went down the swanee. Who was the dafty that was on about? So you seriously think this is quality content? What have we? How does one shout out? George, one shouts out. I just shout out to George. George Garcia. <coughs> Where's Welsh Brown these days? Fat Spoon, I don't know. Vancouver, Washington loves you, Scotty. Dinky do. Lovely to have you with us and thank you. Tap, 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 de tap, tap, de tap, de tap, everybody. It does work. Julianne says, in it, well, and either in it or out it, it doesn't really matter. You're either in or you're out. Uh, guys, a big discussion this morning. Do you think brides should be allowed to wear white if they've been around the block? Get my meaning. Greetings from Finland. We love you in Finland. And a very, very warm welcome from Scotty McClue. Quality, quality content on TikTok. 
There we are. The Olympics start tomorrow. Nothing gets past you, Angela, you know. Hello, everybody. The only way is Irish. Absolutely not. It's a sign of purity. Yeah, but what if there's not been yes? That's what I'm saying, yes. George, you've got it in one. Greetings from Sydney in Australia. I think Brian should says fat spoon. Do you think so, even though they're not what you'd call pure, if you get my meaning? Dinky do, I say, do join us. As soon as you come on, you're watching Scotty McClue. It's massive, absolutely massive. Fantastic. Welcome. I say, hi from Ireland, baby Bell. Thank you very much. Which part of Ireland? Does one vacuum the grass or feed the couch? Uh, one does neither, Julianne. One sobers up. Have you ever been to Norway? <coughs> no, but my father was one of your liberators in 1944. He was parachuted in to Norway. Not sure you can call this quality content, Scotty. Why not educators? That's what I'm doing, Patrick. I'm educating you all the time. There we are. If you ask questions, you get educated answers, you see. County Tipperary. Now, see in the tune, it's a long way to Tipperary. So Paddy got excited and he shouted to the mayor or he shouted to them there. Do you have a mayor of Tipperary? I need to know. <coughs> As a councillor, not a horse mayor, M-A-R-E, M-A-Y-O-R. Hi from Newcastle, ex-marshmallow. We love you in Newcastle like you was war last. <clears throat> so there we go. Let's be honest, Scotty. A few people are pure before marriage these days. Fat Spoon, very honest indeed. They've all been round the block. <clears throat> what made you start doing TikTok? Well, Prebenvue, I've been 40 years on television, radio, newspapers, and the internet. Everything's been a success, except for one very, very bad man that I met who took my life savings off me. Very bad man. Convicted fraudster since then, I believe. Um, but um, I thought to myself, mainstream media is failing the people. We're getting nothing on it but the pandemic. This demoralizes people. And that's how you would control people. You start by demoralizing them. Tony Benn will tell you that or would have told you that. So I thought, no, no, the people need better than this. They need something light light-hearted, if possible funny, to see that they can smile again, laugh again, and enjoy themselves interacting in media. So I would say dump the mainstream media, put off your televisions. You may as well put off your radios because there's very little on there you're going to want to hear at the moment. Scotty McClue is not on radio or television at all at the moment. So you'll get me on TikTok. And it's just been fantastic. Okay. Slightly smaller numbers than we used to do in the big media stations. You know, we used to do a quarter of a million per half hour on a local radio station. Now we're, uh, you know, maybe doing a few thousand. But it's a start. And from Little Acorn's Great Oaks Grow. And you never know, TikTok might just spot it and decide to send it out to every single TikToker. That's 800 million people. Now, already 2 billion people know Scotty McClue, so it would be lovely, wouldn't it, if TikTok said, make sure everybody sees this guy big time. Uh, and then we're in business, and it would also show TikTok just how powerful they are. How fantastic is that? Nope, there's no mayor in Tipperary. So, would it be, does that answer your question, Preb and Voo? Uh, no mayor in Tipperary, right, baby? So, the line is, and Paddy got excited and he shouted to them there. Is that right? So Paddy got excited and he shouted to them there. It's a long way to Tipperary. But you see, that won't be true for the people that live in Tipperary. So are they busy singing, it's a long way to Dublin? It's a long way to Dublin. I don't know. What do you sing in Tipperary? Because you can't sing 
It's a long way to Tikarere. Ah, love it, bro. Thank you, X Marshmallow. Uh, do you like Americans? I don't like Americans, no. I love Americans. Uh, Scotty McClue is massive in the United States of America. You know, I mean, I was very, very popular in the UK, or I am very popular in the UK, but they do have a saying, the prophet does no honor in his own land. And America, they just soak up Scotty McClue. So if you know anybody in the United States who wants to watch TikTok Live, you tell them big style. What up? Everything up, nothing down. Do you listen? Don't know who that is, Salentos. Never heard of them. Sing as a sea shanty. Well, you see, when I was at sea, we used to put a little bit of lemonade with our beer. And that was our sea shandy. Yes, indeed. Can you say? I can't say that, no. In Nottingham, we say, hey, help me, doc. I know, Angela. I've been in Nottingham. I used to broadcast in Nottingham and the Midlands. Hey, help me, doc. Hey, help, doc. Can you tell us about the Highland clearances, Scotty? I can, Patrick Templeton. Yes, indeed. Following the 15 and the 45. Now, that just, they're not rebellions. They were risings. We have to be very careful that uh, Westminster doesn't try to put a spin on Scottish history. So we need the facts. So the Scots wanted Charles Edward Stuart to be the king of Great Britain. And, uh, or, uh, yes, the King of Britain, as it was at the time. There's actually no such country as Britain. It's a, a land mass. But anyway, he wanted to be the King of Britain, meaning what we call the United Kingdom. Or meaning Scotland and England, actually. So, that was that. Now, that culminated in a defeat at the Battle of Culloden in 1746. After that, the English... Uh, the wealthy English, the southern English aristocracy started to, and the Scottish aristocracy started to abuse the people very badly. And they started closing up tenancies, shutting down farm cottages, herding the people off the land because more money could be made from leaving it to sheep. The people had nowhere to go. They were impoverished. And they were sent to Canada and America and Australia. Hence all your Scottish names in Canada, like Calgary in Alberta. Yeah, and that would be as a result of people that were cleared off the land, you see. So Ireland does not have the monopoly on clearances. There you are. So I, I hope that helps. A lot of it happened between 1840 and, say, 1875. Then you had more clearances in the 1880s, and you actually had clearances in the 1960s when they offered people 10 bob tours to Australia, etc. So it's been going on for years. And if you go to Australia, of course, you'll know about Macquarie. Macquarie was from the island of Mull. There we are. A fine example is in the Bible. Uh, Jesus forgives sin. Well, fortunately, Adam, I've never actually sinned. So I've never had a problem with that. But I do agree that Jesus loves us. And if you scroll through my TikTok lives, you will see me playing you, Jesus loves me. There we are. Very good answer. Did you like that one, Preben? So there we have it. Do you believe in God? Kulelo, everyone believes in God to a greater or lesser extent. The agnostic is just not sure. They can't get their head around it. Yes. And the atheist would have to describe to us in detail exactly what they don't believe in. That's the interesting one. Good must always triumph over evil. I've only met one evil man in my life who took money off me in a business deal. Good must always triumph over that evil. So there we are. Even if you don't believe, we should all look up to Jesus. Yes, Adam, everybody believes to a greater or lesser extent, following the footsteps of the master. There we are. Rick Hex has followed us. Do you talk like this all the time? All the time, Ben. Now, you only have to put up with it for an hour. 
I have to live with it. So they are all the time. How Jesus treated people very well, actually. We didn't treat Jesus so well. What's your biggest life lesson? Uh, to be very wary of fraudsters. Yes, only one bad person I've ever met, and he took my money. So there we are. Tom has signed his uh, post. Tom Holland has signed his post. Thank you, Tom, for signing your post. Now we'll send you down the swanee. Oh, we might not bother, actually, because you're a half-witted idiot. Angela, I think you're from Nottingham. I've never said it in my life. Galileo is from Ot Ot Nottingham, and he's never said a up my duck in his life. This is beautiful, Patrick. I thank you, dinky do. It's beautiful to have you on here. We are beautiful people on TikTok, apart from the odd tiny wee half-witted troll. But we send them doing the swatty. We toast them. Good morning, Scotty. Long John here. How are you this beautiful day? Long John, absolutely fantastic. What a great live this has been. Because uh, obviously people have got lots of things to do. Hi, Scott M. Clue. Hi, everybody. They banned the use of Gaelic. They did Fat Spoon. They banned the use of our language. So Ireland knows what this feels like. They banned the bagpipes. They banned any weaponry. They banned the kilt. They banned the wearing of tartan. Now, that should never have been allowed. That's when Scotland should have left the Union. Bad news. So there we are. Dinky do. Dinky do. And Highland Dress. Yes, Fat Spoon. We're just saying that. Charlie says, Dinky do. All right, Scotty. Morning, Scotty. Plans for today. Hard physical work today, D Tan. Yes, indeed. I'm screen recording. Excellent blue lighter. I'd love to see that. Good for you. There we are. I believe in Donald Trump. Do you know, Blue Lighter, I think everybody actually believes in Donald Trump. I'm wondering if America has made a massive error of judgment. Look at the price of a gallon of gas for starters. But do you think that maybe Uncle Joe, sure is a very nice guy, was actually the wrong choice? Do you think with the Donald, America was on to something? And do you think that the mainstream media was propagandaing against the Donald? Now, think about that. If you sort of say, take the media out the equation, what they said about Donald, because remember, it's very, very, very common to immediately try and debunk somebody if they're on the right track. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? So there we are. So, you know, form a queue, I say, for those that wish they had the Donald back. Form a queue. Follow us as soon as you can, guys, Dean Cater. It's not up to the atheists to prove we aren't the ones making the claim. Uh, yes, the, the atheists are making the claim. The atheists are saying, I don't believe in God. That's the word of the atheist. The atheist needs to tell us what do they not believe in and describe God to us. There we are. Blue Lighter, second coming, right? There we are. W.C. Wigglesworth thinks that the Donald will be back and will be back in about two and a half years. Is that right? Are we right? Help, I'm being robbed. Help, I'm being robbed. Well, Cloudsy, there you go. Absolutely. I think we all felt robbed with the Donald. Is it true that Jesus was a dis disciple of Allah? Jesus was a prophet, Patrick. Yes, so Islam will tell you that Jesus was the prophet. Peace be upon him. Peace be upon the prophet Muhammad. There we are. Follow us, guys. Do you know where New Zealand is? Yes, our friends, North Island, Matter Matter, up by the race course. Do you know where Scotland is? There we are. Can I be a mod? Well, official, it's a lovely, lovely offer, but we actually don't need mods simply because we've only got a few silly wee trolls who aren't mature enough to handle a live stream. There we are. Fantastic. Good morning. Good morning. Cloudsy, what are you doing, Cloudsy? You're actually spamming us now. You're trolling. There you go. Cloudsy's away for trolling. Uh, now, who have we got this? 
I'm going to meet the Mrs. Boss tonight at barbecue. Fancy coming, you'd be a great guest. Cornelio, you are so wonderful. I thank you. I think everybody still remembers Scotty McClure. Fantastic. There we go. Do you know much about the island of Malta, Scotty? Yes. I know that a gentleman I knew when I was younger played a massive, massive part in saving Malta. Interesting, isn't it? And I only heard that recently. You talk funky. I thank you, compadre. You must know how to talk funky then. So there we are. Tremendous stuff. Now, Clarence has been spamming us. Are you for independence, Scotty? Independence for Scotland. I think Scotland could do with hanging on to its own money for a few years. It sends £75 billion a year to Westminster, which keeps Westminster afloat. Hence the reason Westminster don't want Scotland to leave. But Brexit has caused so much damage to uh, the United Kingdom. Scotland really should think about leaving and keeping its own money. Uh, I think most of the anti-Trump gang can't even tell you why. No, 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 Kalilo. The anti-Trump gang, they're, uh, you know, anti-Trump is trumped up, if you'll pardon the pun. There's nothing actually against the Donald. And he did show true leadership in America. And he didn't put up with any nonsense. And he apparently spoke 100% truth. And that's pretty big for a politician. I learned all this recently. Tremendous. And I think if you take the media out of the equation, and he was right pointing to all the media and goes, shut up, you fake news, and all that stuff, you know. He had a point. Maybe that's why he's not in power. Interesting. So I would say to us, queue up for Trump. Hi, Thailand. If we if we do get him back, it would be interesting to see the contrast. So you've had Trump, you've had Uncle Joe, then you've had the Donald again. Amazing. He's definitely very, he's definitely a very powerful individual. You know, I don't mean powerful in terms of money and that. He himself is a very powerful individual. What part of Scotland are you from? I'm from the borders. Geordie Garrow, we love the borders. Good morning, Scotty. A very happy birthday to young Prince George of Cambridge. Absolutely, Stuarty. I love the Cambridges. They are very popular in Scotland. The Scots adore them. Trump is the man. Are you face Scotland? You got it in one bite, law. Nothing gets past you. Aka Wilco sending me TikToks. I thank you very, very much indeed. Wonderful stuff. This is what it's all about. Thank you very much for joining us this morning, guys. You're watching Scotty McClue. Hashtag float eye, the first lord of the internet. This is big talk on here. Come and join us. Fantastic. Thank you so much. Yes, indeed. I cry when I think of what the British forces did to Scotland. Well, Fatspin, I think we should sue for reparation of damages. Yeah, and I think we should do up Linlithgow Palace and Westminster Pays, because that was stinking Billy, the Duke of Cumberland, the king's brother, who actually did the damage, and he was the one that did the damage at Culloden. And in Edinburgh, they welcomed him back. George Frederick Handel wrote, Hail the Conquering Hero, uh, from his... Uh, Oratorio Judas Maccabeus, and that has become thine be the glory. Yes, it's a Handel oratorio piece. So there we are, uh, and it's a beautiful hymn. But I do think of Hail the Conquering Hero for Butcher Cumberland, Stinking Billy. There we are, and the damage he did to Scotland. So I think we should look at reparations, but I don't know how switched on the Scottish government are with things like that. I think we should do up Linlithgow Palace, get it habitable again, because that stinking Billy is set fire to it. She didn't want Bonnie Prince Charlie. See, there's a lot of jealousies. Bonnie Prince Charlie wanted to be the monarch and probably should have been, you know, and then they brought in the Act of Secession to keep uh, Catholic monarchs out because the monarchy has been Catholic, Protestant, Catholic, Protestant, all down the ages. I actually like Trump. I think he was a breath of fresh air. 
I think a lot of the USA are now regretting their vote. I think they are, Kulelio, and I think might be an idea. What about a dual presidency? Should they have another referendum and get Trump and Joe in? Would that work? Uh, I learned from history that certain Scots turned against their country. Well, Fat Spoon, just as we were saying, hail the conquering hero in Edinburgh. And there's even a triumphal arch that was built up at the top of Regent Terrace. Do you know speaking Gaelic? Harissa. Kavraha u maha hachima. Welcome, welcome. Falchi, falchi, ki de mili falchi. Don TikTok. Agus Scotchach McClough. Fantastic. There we go. Uh, Fat Spoon, Scotland's on the island of Great Britain. Learn geography. You fool. There we are. <laughs> what are you on about? Yes, we know that. Don't call people fools. It's not very nice. You're very welcome, Sarai. Thank you, Eka. I love listening to your very intelligent talk. Do you know, Jordi Garrow, we had a half wit on earlier saying, is this what you call serious content? I think he just didn't get it because he wasn't very smart. Wonderful. You're clearly not from here. Where is from here? Should gay people should get married? Uh, Angela, well, if they want to, yes, I don't see why not. The law is in their favour. I'm from Ireland. It doesn't take a genius to know from Great Britain equals British. No, 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 not at all, actually. Uh, Great Britain is just a landmass, so it doesn't actually equal British. There's no such thing as the British, so Ireland's been getting that wrong for a long time. Yes, you're either Scottish, English, Northern Irish, or Welsh, if you're in the United Kingdom. Hello, Scotty. Blessings from your number one fan, Hit Songs. How lovely to have you back with us, Dinky Doo. That's the most beautiful hello I've ever heard. I thank you, 3D dude. Dinky doo, and a very warm welcome, everybody. Hey, says Grandma. I assume that's Gaelic. You assume correctly, of course. That's Gaelic. Well done. Well, you knew it was a welcome. Kabrahau uh, hachama. No, it says Erin May. Yes, in Gaelic. Yes, absolutely, excellent. Yes, indeed. Scotty, can you give me a wee dinky do to Megan Green from Campbelltown? I can, Megan. We love you in Campbelltown. Wonderful stuff. Uh, ben Gullion. You'll know Ben Gullion. People think he's one of the locals. Fantastic. Love, of course, to uh, Drumlembo, to Southend, to Machrahanish, to Campbelltown itself, to the Mullafkid Tire Lighthouse. To everybody on West Coast Motors, dinky do, I say to you, dinky do, yes, indeed. Do you know that Campbelltown, was it 12 distilleries Campbelltown had when it was distilling whiskey? I'm trying to remember. It was big anyway. There we are, Campbellton Loch. Good day to you, Scotty. Good day, Glenn. There we are. Thank you for the Gaelic x -ray. Lovely, lovely, love you. The Gaelic. Yes, indeed. Are you at the Harling? Fantastic. Scotty, have you any concerns regarding the COVID outbreak? Well, Glenn, I've just followed the instructions to the letter. So any concerns I have, there's no point in me having concerns because I can't do any more than I've done. So there we are. Follow us as soon as you can, guys. Dinky do. Fantastic. And share this video big style. There we are. Follow us as soon as you can. Thank you very much. Scotty, yes. So do you see where I'm coming from, Glenn? You can't do any more than you've done. All the mask wearing, the isolation, keeping out the road, everything, just nipping in and out the shop with the masks on, all that stuff. There we are. So there's no point in having any concerns. You just have to let these things run their course now. I don't think there's much more we can do. Stick to the rules, washing your face, all that sort of idea. Washing your hands. Do you think our government have lifted the restrictions too soon? Glenn, we'll have to see. I mean, if the numbers just go absolutely shooting up, then the answer is yes. Okay. 
Fat Spoon, thank you very much. Fat Spoon, you must have disappeared and come back. I guess Gaelic, yes, the Gaelic, fantastic. The difference between your Gaelic and our Gaelic. Gaelic is Gaelic. People would understand each other in Ireland and in the west coast of Scotland. Fantastic. Hello, Scott, dinky-doo. Dinky-doo, Christ on the flood waters. Christ walking on the flood waters. How marvellous is this? Right, it's time I wasn't here, guys. I'm going to have to go. Love your content. Dinky-doo. Lovely to have you with us. Thank you for having you with us. Follow us as soon as you possibly can. I'll give you a tune on the squeeze box. We'll have a tune for the clearances. How about that? Yes, to commemorate the sadness of the Scottish clearances. Follow us, guys, as soon as you come on. Scotty, take care, big man. Dick, you do have a good day. I will, Glenn. Are we ready? <clears throat> do a night at the London Palladium. Thank you very, very much. Very kind of you. Brilliant. Will you know, come back again. Love it. Thank you, Jordy Carroll. Wonderful stuff. Thank you for following us, everybody. Have a beautiful day. Fat Spoon, he has a filter, I swear. Absolutely not. This is me. What you see is what you get with Scotty McClure. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope it's been a blast. I hope you've loved it as much as I've enjoyed being with you. Scotty McClure saying to every single one of you, have a fabulous day. Love being you. It's a beautiful thing to be. Stay fabulous. And this is Scotty McClure saying dinky-doo to every one of you. Ta-ra, lads. Ta-ra, everybody. Fantastic. Scotty, the haters are jealous. You should do live at the proms. I thank you. That would be a biggie. Yes, do you remember Malcolm Sargent and Norma Proctor? Fantastic. <laughs>